and the first formula is what we call the formula for the sum of interior angles the sum of interior uh, angles of a regular polygon of a regular uh, polygon regular polygon remember we can have a uh, regular or irregular polygons so the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is usually given by the formula 180 then into uh, n minus 2 of course where n represents the number of sides of that particular polygon the other formula that you need to take note of is that if you take one interior angle then you add its corresponding exterior angle of a polygon then these two should always give you 180 degrees the reason being they're usually angles on a straight line for example suppose this is a part of my a polygon that i was drawing if the interior angle of this particular polygon let's say is around 100 degrees then if um, I produce this line to form an exterior angle of this one here, the exterior angle, of course, will be uh, 80 degrees. So that when you take uh, 80 plus 100, you'll get 180 degrees because they are usually angles on a straight line. So this is what we are calling the interior angle. Then this is what we are calling the exterior angle. So you can clearly see that an interior angle and an exterior angle, they are usually angles on a straight line. Therefore, their sum should always give you 180 degrees then the other formula that you need to note is that whenever you take uh, if you want to find one of the exterior angles then this should be equivalent to 360 uh, degrees then divided by the number of sides of that particular polygon the same formula can also be written as number of sides is also equal to uh, 360 degrees divided by uh, each exterior angle of that particular polygon then uh, the other formula that uh, you always uh, need uh, to note is that the sum uh, the sum of all exterior angles the sum of all exterior uh, angles of any polygon of any polygon where the word any polygon in this case means the polygon can be either regular or irregular so the sum of all exterior angles of any type of polygon should always give you uh, 360 degrees. Then the other formula that you need to notice that the number of triangles, number of triangles, the number of triangles formed, uh, number of triangles formed by any polygon uh, or by a polygon, uh, we get it through the formula n minus 2. So you simply take the number of sides of that particular polygon then you subtract 2. So the number of triangles formed by a polygon is given by its number of sides, then minus 2. Then the other things that you need to take note of is the names of different uh, types of po regular polygons. For example, a polygon with four sides, we call it a quadrilateral. So a four-sided uh, polygon, we call it a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. A polygon, of course, with three sides, that one we call it a triangle. Then a polygon with uh, five sides, we call it a pentagon. We call it a pentagon, that's a polygon with five sides. A polygon with uh, six sides, we call it a hexagon. A hexagon. A polygon with uh, seven sides, we call it a, a heptagon. A heptagon. A polygon with eight sides, we call it an octagon. We call it an octagon. A polygon with uh, nine sides, we call it uh, a nonagon. We call it a nona a nonagon. A polygon with ten sides, we call it a decagon. A decagon. So these are the types of uh, commonly asked polygon. Of course, with the number of sides representing each. Now, having known these particular formulas, we need to do some examples relating to the same. So uh, let's look at our first example. Uh, which involves application of the formulas that we have just highlighted. So this is a past case equation done in the year 2001, paper 1, question number 14. So the question reads that the interior angles of a hexagon, remember a hexagon is a six-sided uh, uh, polygon, are 2x uh, degrees, a half x degrees, then of course we also have x plus 40 degrees, then we have 110 degrees, uh, 130 and 160 degrees so we are told to find the value of the smallest angle 
So because this is a hexagon, so we can find the sum of all interior angles of a hexagon. So remember we said that the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is given by 180 into n minus 2. So the sum of interior angles, the sum of interior uh, angles, angles of a hexagon, a hexagon, a hexagon, so this should be a hexagon. Remember we said a hexagon is a six-sided, so the sum of interior angles of a hexagon uh, should be given by 180 into n minus 2. So because a hexagon has um, six sides, I'll substitute 6 minus 2. So of course, if you compute this, if you take uh, 180, then you multiply by 4, you are going to get um, 180 by 4, you are going to get 720. So uh, this gives us, uh, this will give us uh, 720 degrees. So that means if we add all these angles, we are supposed to get 720 degrees. So if I take 2x degrees, then I add a half x degrees, then I add uh, x plus 40 degrees, then I add uh, 110 degrees, then I add 130 degrees, then I add 160 degrees. The whole of this should give me a 720 degrees, 720 degrees. Therefore, you are going to add all these uh, particular angles so that we get, if you take, I'm going to add the values of x. So if you take 2, you add a half, then you add a 1, of course, which is x. So 2x plus x, you get 3x. Huh? So if you take 3x, then you add a half. So 3 plus um, 1 over 2. If you take 3 plus 1 over 2, you are going to get 3.5 or simply 7 over 2. So I'm having 7 over 2x, then I'll add 40. So if you take 40, then you add uh, 110 degrees. Then of course you add 130 degrees. Then we also add 160 degrees. You are going to get 440. Forty for 40. So I'm simply adding this particular angle. Uh, 40 degrees. So I'm taking uh, 40 degrees. I'm adding 110 degrees. I'm adding 130 degrees. Then I'm adding 160 degrees. So the total is giving me uh, 440 degrees. So this is 440 uh, degrees. Then we should be equal to 720 degrees. So uh, 7 over 2x uh, degrees should give me uh, 720, then of course minus 440 degrees. So this will give me, if you take 720, then you subtract, uh, you subtract for 40 degrees, you are going to get 280 uh, degrees. So this is 280 degrees. So therefore, 7 and a half x is equals to uh, 280 degrees. So if I want to find x, I'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So x will simply be equal to uh, 280 degrees multiplied by the reciprocal of 7 over 2, which is of course 2 over uh, 7. So if you take 180, so if you take uh, what, that is uh, 280, then you multiply with the reciprocal of 7 over 2, which is uh, uh, 2 over 7, you are going to get 80 degrees. So the value of x is actually 80 degrees. But the question did not ask us to find the value of x. The question wanted the, the, the value of the smallest uh, angle. So if you look at these angles, we have uh, an angle which has 2x, then we have a half x, then we have x plus 40. So of course the smallest angle will be the one with a half x. So uh, the smallest angle, uh, smallest, the smallest angle, will be a half of x that is this angle here so which will give us a half of uh, that is uh, so this should be a half of uh, not an eighth so this is a half of x remember our value of x is 8 eh? so if you take 80 over 2 you are going to get 40 degrees so 40 degrees is our smallest possible uh, angle then uh, we look at our second example which is also a past case equation which was done uh, in the year 2004 paper one question number two so the question reads that the size of an interior angle of a regular polygon is 156 so find uh, the number of sides of the polygon so we are going to first of all find the exterior angle so the size of an interior so we said that if you take an interior angle plus an exterior angle 
you are supposed to get 180 degrees because these are usually angles on a straight line so we are given uh, an interior angle as 156 therefore i'll say 156 degrees then you add an exterior angle you are supposed to get 180 degrees so of course the exterior angle will be uh, 180 degrees then you subtract 156 degrees which will give us if you take uh, 180 uh, if you take uh, 180 then you less or you subtract 156 you are going to get 24 degrees so this is 24 uh, degrees so if this is one of the exterior angles they want us to find number of sides we said that number of sides can be given by 360 degrees over uh, each exterior angle. Therefore, the number of sides of this particular polygon N will be 360 degrees. Then you divide with the exterior angle is actually uh, 24 degrees. So this is uh, going to give us uh, 360 divided by 24. You are going to get 15. Uh, so 15 sides. 15 uh, sides then our next example we look at um, example 3 which is also a past case question done in the year 2005 paper 1 question number uh, 5 so the question reads that the size of each interior angle of a regular polygon is uh, <coughs> 5 times the size of the exterior angle so find the number of sides of this particular polygon so I let the smaller angle to actually be uh, x so we are told the size of each uh, interior angle of a regular polygon is five times uh, uh, the size of the exterior angle. So if I let one of the exterior angles to be actually x degrees, it means the interior angle will actually be, we are told uh, the size of each interior angle of a polygon is five times. So the interior angle will be five times x because x represents our exterior angle then um, uh, five times the size of the exterior angle so find the number of sides of the polygon so we need to first of all find the value of x so we know that if you take one interior then you add one exterior you're supposed to get 180 degrees because these are usually angles on a straight line so my interior angle is 5x degrees my exterior angle is x degrees so this should give me 180 degrees so 5x plus x i'm going to get 6x which should be equal to 180 degrees so uh, the value of x will be 180 degrees then of course divided by uh, 6 so if you take 180 then you divide by 6 we're going to get uh, 30 degrees so <coughs> the value of x for this particular case uh, x is equals to uh, 30 degrees but the question does not want us to find the value of x the question wants the number of sides so uh, remember x was representing the exterior angle so it means each exterior angle in this particular case will be x which is equivalent to 30 degrees then we know that number of sides is equals to uh, 360 then divided by uh, each exterior angle so this will be 360 then each exterior angle is 30 degrees so if you compute this you'll find the number of sides as being equal to 360 then divided by uh, 30 degrees which will give you uh, 12 sides so the number of sides is actually uh, 12 then we 